If you're watching this video, chances are you've already taken drastic steps to cut out toxins from your life and avoid household items that you know are causing cancer and wreaking havoc on your hormonal systems. But the reality is that even myself, looking at some of the products with Dr. Group today, we've found that chances are you're still having contaminants inside of your house that are actually killing you. And now I'm not saying that for effect. Studies show it is actually giving you cancer and hormonally destroying your body. So with Dr. Group today, we're gonna to talk about some of the key ways to avoid these contaminants and actually list them one by one and give you over seven different ways to rid your home of absolute killers. So Dr. Group, let's get started with what you think is the most important. Well, we're all under attack, Anthony, with endocrine disrupting chemicals. And endocrine disrupting chemicals are chemicals that disrupt your endocrine system. You have a lot of glands in your endocrine system, your thyroid gland, your pituitary gland. The intestines, as a matter of fact, is the largest uh, endocrine organ. You have the prostate gland. Anything that secretes or regulates hormones. And what we're finding out now is the majority of symptoms that people are complaining about, whether it's fatigue, ovarian cysts, prostate cancer, uh, diabetes, heart disease, all has a link to an endocrine disrupting chemical, mostly because these chemicals mimic estrogen. And what you have are, you have metalloestrogens, you have phthalates, you have BPA, you have chemical fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, but a lot of times people don't realize that these chemicals are lurking in their home. Anything from fire retardants, carpets which are made that are outgassing volatile organic compounds. And we just chose a few here today that we'll go through. Just in the kitchen alone, you can be exposing yourself to very harmful levels of endocrine disrupting chemicals. And in the kitchen, you want to look for anything, number one, that can be in a can. Now, not only do you have BPA lined in these cans or BPS or some sort of plastic, you also have the aluminum. The aluminum is actually a metalloestrogen which can cause hormone disruption in the body. Anything that you cook in the microwave is also going to usually be wrapped in plastic. And when you microwave food, not only are you radiating the food, making it ineffective and non-nutritious, but what you're also doing is exposing the food to toxic plastics and endocrine disrupting chemicals there. I've gone through a lot of kitchens because what we would do is, is go to people's homes and actually see how many endocrine disrupting chemicals and how many toxic chemicals people are consuming on a daily basis. And it's amazing. This is just a small percentage of stuff. We move on to even mineral oil that you would think would be safe to put on your baby. Number one is in a plastic bottle, and number two contains fragrance. A lot of the things that contain fragrance are toxic, toxic chemicals called phthalates, which companies are allowed to put on the label without identifying the actual chemicals in there. And that goes from air fresheners that you put in your car, your home. Here's another... Well, this one's not... The, when I the, told you <clears throat> about the baby oil, you freaked out. You were like, oh my God, there's fragrance in there. And you were just blown away. How many people do you think put this on their infants or just on themselves every single day and don't realize what they're doing? A lot, because cosmetics are one of the biggest sources of endocrine disrupting chemicals, which means it mimics estrogen in your body. And for men, it lowers your testosterone level. And for women, it increases your estrogen level. Women, such as hair care products, which we have a couple here, extremely damaging, full of chemicals. The, like you said, the fragrance, I would, I mean, it's sick to see, think that you're going to put this on your baby when it has fragrance, especially since a baby's skin is so susceptible to absorbing these chemicals into and, their system. And they're already born with high levels of BPA, they found too, because the pregnant mothers are drinking the plastic water bottles, as we're going to talk about doing all these things you're mentioning and it's going through and actually infecting the baby's life cycle as well. That's right. Most babies are affected not only what you put on the baby because the mother was 
had high levels yeah. of endocrine disrupting chemicals. And these are just some household items. We're not talking about the foods and the pesticide residue on foods and the glyphosate and the atrazine and the harmful chemicals that are being sprayed as herbicides and pesticides everywhere as well. But the majority of the shampoos that you're going to find in the home, the majority of the conditioners, even if they say all natural, most likely they contain at least 10 to 15 endocrine disrupting chemicals. Uh, how many people that do you know that take antacids Everyone. for their stomach? You know, we have an epidemic of stomach, intestinal problems, whether it's gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, heartburn. I mean, I know a lot of people out there that I try to get off of these uh, heartburn medications or these pills, which are in themselves causing more damage and also work as endocrine disrupting chemicals. How many people do you know that drink beer? Yeah. I mean, hops in itself, which most beer is made out of, is heavily sprayed with pesticides. It's uh, beer is made with a lot of tap water sometimes, or the chemicals aren't fully out of which it. Which contains birth control. Which contains average, birth which control. It's an aluminum can, and it's lined with BPA. It's lined with the plastics as well. So beer, people that drink beer, you know, especially men, it's supposed to be a manly thing to drink beer, but what it does is it makes you more feminine because it disrupts your testosterone pathways, it lowers your testosterone and increases your estrogen levels. And BPA can also be used to seal pharmaceutical drugs as well. Yes, most pharmaceutical drugs contain fluoride, which is another endocrine disrupting chemical. You know, endocrine meaning it disrupts all your glandular functions. All the water bottles out there that are plastic, especially when they heat up, milk is in plastic containers. Milk also contains harmful chemicals, growth hormones. It's been pasteurized, so most of the nutrients are dead in that. Uh, we see with laundry detergent and fabric softeners, heavily fragranced laundry detergent, fabric softeners, are extremely damaging, especially when you wash your children's clothes and you dry your children's clothes. These damaging phthalates or fragrances get into the clothes, and when your child sweats, they can cause damage. Feminine hygiene products, the, during the bleaching process of those, they can contain uh, chemicals that can be damaging phthalates. And here's an interesting one. Why, why don't we talk about this, a bug spray? Because we were actually shopping for these ridiculous items, and the person we were with was saying, I use this every day. What's wrong with it? And it's someone that eats organic food and lives a healthy lifestyle. They just didn't understand how this bug spray insect repellent could possibly be toxic. When to me it's obvious, well, but so many people just don't know. Just like I wouldn't know some things if, you know, if I hadn't been told. Right. I mean, because it's made to be safe. I mean, people under, they see the commercials and they see the adults spraying their children and spraying themselves with bug spray, but these contain dioxins. They're, you can take each one of the chemicals in this bug spray, type it in the internet, do a search for it, and you're going to find at least 90% of them are cancer causing, and not only that, they're hormone disrupting, they're endocrine disrupting chemicals. And remember, Monsanto had to pay $90 million to the town of Nitro because there was dioxin pollution, and people were just growing new limbs and dying over and over. That's also what's in Agent Orange. Dioxin is considered one of the most deadly compounds in the world, in the universe. And this is what you're spraying yourself with every single time. And how many people do you know that use artificial sweeteners on yep. a daily basis? Diet drinks. When you mix aspartame with the BPA, with the aluminum, you just have deadly sources of contaminants that are bombarding the body. It would be maybe okay if you were doing one of these every day, but the problem is an accumulation of all these toxic endocrine disrupting chemicals bombarding the body every single day, and, the, and people are not getting these toxins. They're not cleansing their body on a regular basis. They're not getting the toxins out. So slowly the body takes a beating, takes a beating, and then the symptoms develop, and all of it leads to disease. So well, thank you for showing us all, all of this information. And it's so amazing, even like we were talking about going out and shopping with someone who is an organic eater, a health-conscious individual, not being aware of some of these things. But the key thing is, and the key purpose of this video, and why you should share it, 
is that you can go ahead and start eliminating these items from your pantry, from your kitchen, from your bathroom, from your household, and it will actually make a world of difference. The estrogen mimickers are attacking you on a daily basis, and it's up to you to actually prevent that and to reverse it by giving yourself natural healing items and getting these out of your house. So these are over seven different items that you can get rid of right now to improve your health. Thank you, Dr. Group. Thank you for watching. This is an InfoWars report. I'm Anthony Gucciardi. That's it for our show tonight. Be sure to stop by PrisonPlanet.tv. We can get a subscription to see the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, and so much more right there on PrisonPlanet.tv. I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.